Good morning. So we're gonna head out on a sea glass hunt now. Uh, I've got a few friends coming along for their very first sea glass hunt ever, so that's always nice and exciting. I'm gonna leave Elsie here today because it's a uh, high tide there. So there's no really, really place for her to hang out, unfortunately. Uh, so she's gonna hang at the boat, watch, make sure everything uh, goes well here, and I'll be back in a few hours to take care of her. But she's well fed. She just got for a walk, she went for a swim, and now she's sitting down, cooling in her fan. Happy little dog. Everybody ready to find some treasure? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Alright! Ready? ready for some rock climbing? Prepped and ready to go with sea glass hunting. I got everything I need. I got some fingerless gloves, makes it easier to pick stuff up, but also easy to not get hit by sharp stuff. Got my goggles with some defogger in them so I can see really well. Snorkel so I can breathe underwater. Nice fanny pack with a couple underwater flashlights that really help me see in the dark or in the, in the caves, stuff like that. And then I got about 20 pounds of weight on me um, and some dive shoes. So between all those things, it should be good to go to find some really good sea glass today. Now it is the roughest I've ever seen it here, um, which means really high tide, really big waves. Water's gonna be turned up a little bit, so it might be a little harder to see than normal, but who knows, might find some really good stuff too. Let's check it out. Oh, 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 oh. First find of the day, got a sea coin. That's awesome. The sea coin is uh, the bottom of a bottle that's been perfectly rounded. As you can see here, that's a 100% perfect, flawless piece of sea glass there. These are super rare to find, so I'm stoked that my first find for today is a sea coin. All right, we just made it to our first cave. Uh, haven't been in there yet to check everything out, but hoping to find a lot of marbles here. This is generally a really good spot for uh, both ceramic and glass marbles. 
Um, this is their first sea glass trip, so pretty excited to have some new friends out here sea glass hunt with me. Hope they find some really good stuff too. So let's check it out. All right. stuff that's really nice and round like jewelry grade um, common colors are white brown and green so you want to find anything that's outside those colors like sea foam blues yellows reds oranges uh, turquoise but also marbles there's lots of marbles here so if you kind of see there's some ridge lines underneath where it kind of piles up yeah you dig those out that's where all the marbles are at. Cool. yeah good. let's see what we can find marbles marbles Kind of more dangerous spot since it's their first time. I don't want anybody bleeding on me. But uh, we got a couple caves here. As you can see, there's not much room to breathe in there. And there's some big waves that close them out. Every time a big wave shuts the entrance off, you get a compression wave that comes through it. It rocks everything inside the cave. If your head is close to the ceiling, it's going to knock you out. You're not going to come back out of that cave. So you got to be really, really, really careful. I'm going to strap this to my head and see what we can find. Let's do it. One breath. That's awesome. I saw a big yellow down there too. Look at that. Orange marble, yellow, and a yeah, decent gray there. Fish right there, huh? Alright, so 
we're gonna start with this cave, and then we'll go over this one. that other cave, I didn't see too much in that one. down there. I'm getting rocked underwater right now. It's so hard to stay in place. I've got 20 pounds on to help me stay on the bottom, but even then I'm just getting moved around today. It is it's a lot tougher than it looks. Um, just holding the camera alone makes it a heck of a lot harder, but I wanted to bring you guys with me today, so let's get back down there and get that sea point. Coin. So we're actually at an old ocean dump site. I mean, people used to come here and drop all their trash off the cliff. Some people still do. Not cool. So while we can, we pick up as much trash as we can. Obviously right now I don't have a trash bag on me. It's really big pieces of trash. Can't fit in my pockets. Seriously, before or after each hunt, we try to pick up as much trash as we can to bring it back with us. But for right now, we're just getting sea glass. I'm going to check one more spot over here. But you can see all this old trash, metal, stuff like that that's been jumped off the cliff. So a lot of times the glass likes to hang out with itself and uh, make big piles of sea glass. But it's not the only thing that does that. Anything that has similar consistency to other stuff will kind of hang out with that stuff on the beach or underwater. So right now, I just found a metal deposit. And that's where all the uh, kind of metal, copper, iron, steel, brass all hangs out in one spot. Sometimes I find rings in there, coins, really cool stuff. Let's check this one out. Hoppers down there. Oh, <laughs> awesome! Just found my first domino of the day. We got a three-one, and look how well worn that is. That is. That is just awesome. This is a really good domino right here. I'm super stoked. treacherous cave here as you can see but right in between there's a lot of good stuff unfortunately the waves push it right through that little tunnel so I gotta be super careful
That's a big blue right there. Nice. Check these babies out, these are called chitons. You can actually eat them, they're a type of isopod. Hey buddy. Oh, the smallest <laughs> marble ever. Wow. <laughs> Tiny one. Did you find anything good? Yeah, it's here. I caught this. Oh, and you got a sea coin in there too, huh? Here. You found a marble. Oh. Yes. Nicely done, a little baby. Yeah, and look, she's got a sea coin there too. Yeah. Nicely done. Oh, you got two marbles. I see another marble right there. Look Three look marbles. Look at this. Oh, you did pretty good for your first hunt ever. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. How good is it? See these sea coins? Yeah. Lots of multi colors. Here? Yeah, keep it right there. Danny. Those ones are nice. Big blue. Uh, nice. Blue 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 nice yellow. Some marbles. Oh. Here, I got plenty more to show you. <laughs> oh, Domino. Let's see. Marbles. Yeah. How beautiful. Look at this nice. one. Nice. <laughs> Pull up my pants a little bit. <laughs> The other marbles. <laughs> oh, oh, no, yellow. oh, the yellow one! Oh, oh no, bien! Oh no, get snorkel! Oh, no. Hey, got the blue. Alright, look at those <laughs> yellows. Another sea coin, quite a few marbles, and an orange in there, too. Alright, I think I got one more handful. Really? Yeah. Hey, you got it. It's all yours now. My God. Look at this one. It's like a crazy thing anyway. Look at that. Yeah. A few more marbles, a bead. Oh, some really good yellows. A couple little bitty reds. This kind of copper dog tag looking thing. We're in the spot. Yeah, no, the eyes. Yeah, oh, one more pocket. One more pocket. Ooh, a doorknob and another marble. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, but my best find all day, I think, is this right here. Some kind of uh, gold or brass plate. It says Bank of the Caribbean. Bank of Banco. It looks like it used to be some kind of dollar press or something like that. But really pretty cool. Don't know what it is, but I like it. Yeah. Never know what you found in the water. If you do, yeah, yeah, check it out. Alright, so let's check out what I found today. Nice tower of uh, sea coins there with a little stopper on top. Actually found another stopper as well, this one here. Pretty cool. And one hour in the water, we found about 30 marbles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. There's probably one more in there to make it 30. But wow, good finds today. I got a little doorknob here. I got some really good multicolored pieces and I even got a domino which is one of the rarest things to find but you can see I got a good collection of all different colors and my favorite piece of the day is this piece of brass or maybe gold but this is El Banco Caribe on top and it looks like a dollar note. This might have been a, a press piece for when they pressed dollars. I'm not sure but it is pretty dang cool. Really really heavy. Got some nice yellow jewels in there. Uh, just all around really good stuff.